back side of the top of the other hill? Yeah, and really no reason. I, I just don't know how you put with your gate will shut. What do you think about your gate shutting on the run? I think it'll be fine now, but you'd never know. But I think it's all right if it shut the first load. Well, then we can go ahead and do that then. So the next, next time we come down, you'll just open her up there where you where you ended off at. And when you get to that bridge, you shut her off and go up that hill and get past that gravel and open her up again. Yeah, George. Uh, I've had a couple... I didn't know how you felt about that. I had a couple problems with my gate. It's freezing up and it wasn't wanting to close yesterday. It would open, but it wouldn't close. And we got a little short stretch back there. We just need a little bit before the bridge. And if it don't close, I don't want to dump it across the top of the bridge and all that. So, But I think it's all right. It worked good this morning, so it was just yesterday. But we're double tracking too wide here on a mile and a half of road. I think we need about probably four more loads a piece and we can only get four loads in a day and we already got one today so we'll only get three more today taking probably about i don't know two and a half hours three hours a load i haven't really figured it i just know we started about 7 30 in the morning and we're done at about six o'clock at night and that's with four loads so i can divide that out for you but but yeah it's hard to see here in the video wide we're putting it on fairly thick inch and a quarter clean gray rock Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing today, just helping the neighbor on a few loads. I could have helped him yesterday four, or I got three yesterday. I started it about two hours later than he did. So I got three, he got four, and then got one today, and I'll get four today. So eight loads total, but he's got something going on tomorrow, and then he's going on vacation Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday. So he's got concrete coming in and something at his house. They're going to pour a uh, stem wall or something. So. If there's any hauling tomorrow, I'll be doing it on my own. He said there might be a load or two that needs done. So I might have a couple tomorrow and then I'll be done with this project. And it's starting to dry out a little. I think in another three or four days, I'll be able to get on that dirt work project that started before my loader broke down and get him tidied up. And I got a big, I say big, four loads of rock going up uh, north of my house, east of my house to north about 25 miles, uh, building a shed pad out of rock. So I got to do that. Monday with the skid loader and four little truck loads of rocks. So I've got a little work here yet to do before it gets real cold. I mean, it's already real cold at night, but in the days it's warming up. People still out doing stuff, spending money. So hopefully it'll stay that way. It looks like we're going to be in the 60s for the next, I don't know, week or so in the days and 30s at night coming up. But we're just going to keep hauling here and I'm going to keep shifting gears, grinding gears, whatever. Sometimes I grind them, sometimes I don't. So, I will get back with you guys here in a little bit and let you know how we're doing. Definitely not your average wheel loader, WA 500. He put one scoop on J. He put one scoop on J already and it only takes two and a partial to fill it for about 25, 26 tons. We're all an inch and a quarter gray, clean gray. So it mounds it pretty high, as big as that stuff is to get our 25 or so on. Summer, 24 and a half, summer 26 and a half, you know, but. So that's the second scoop. And it'll just take a little more. I like to have that in the pond for a little while. They're making it right there. I mean, you can see it. the sun's just wrong. They've got like three or four of them, and then they've got even bigger ones than that that they use with those tooth buckets to move the boulders around and load them. But um, it's, I can't remember what size it is. And then they've got a couple little cats. I think they got like eight or nine wheel loaders at this rock quarry I go to. We've been at it for eight or nine hours, and this will be our last load. We'll go home. So, still got two hours ahead of me. Well, he's full, and it's my turn. So, I'm gonna get loaded, and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, guys, he went on down there towards May's about two miles, or the bad spot. They needed about a quarter to half a load. He's gonna do that come back this way 
I strung it, I don't know if you can see. It's a lighter over here. I did this side right up there, second telephone pull, started and come all the way this way. Said it's not dried off yet. Just ran it to right here and shut it off. And I see how much I have left. We got three or four soft spots back down two miles to the east that we need to hit on the way out if we have any left. Said if we had some left, great, and if we don't, great, but I don't know how much I have left. I hit one spot coming in that was pretty bad, so. I've still got quite a bit left. I say I used half of it, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little more. I probably got actually a quarter left because they mound it, you know, way up above the cab, about two foot. And we took the whole center, and there's ain't much in the side. So that's say I probably got 10, 10, 11 ton left, maybe. So, yep, it's a rock we're using inch and a quarter clean gray so we'll let him get up here and i'll tell him about how much i have left and we'll hit some spots on the way out and we're gonna call it an evening i'm gonna take my boy home some pizza and some cinnamon sticks he's been teething he's almost two and he'll eat cinnamon sticks almost any day of the week he likes his sweets like any kid would so I might pick him up some pizza they got a big parking lot i can get around in with the truck so i might surprise him with that when i get home so went to pizza hut and got the boy pizza and cinnamon sticks and it ain't very cold the two liter of pepsi so we're gonna hope it rides right here i think it will we'll see if it makes it home or not it's cooler outside than that pop is so hope it'd be cool off time i get home we'll see 15 minute drive what do you think cut are you hungry you get some food well just uh update i don't want to leave no one wondering it didn't make it Two liter of pop made it. I gotta figure out how to get it out of here. It went right into the top, but a little dusty, but it made it. A lot colder than it was. I'm gonna feed the dog and I'm gonna go in and eat with the boy and call it a day.